Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our EGR valve. That's going to be located right underneath this cover. So let's go ahead and get it out of the way by starting by grabbing onto the fill neck here. We're going to go ahead and grab nice and low, give it a turn counterclockwise, and remove the whole thing. After that, go ahead and grab onto that cover, lift it up, and pull it towards the front of the vehicle and set it aside. With that cover out of the way, you have a nice clear view of where your EGR valve is located. Now for this, you can tell that it has a wiring harness that goes right to the top. We need to disconnect that. So right along this area here, there's a tab that you can gently pry up on and pull this right off. I'm just going to use my pocket screwdriver, slide it underneath there, lift this up. Every time you disconnect an electrical connector, give it a peek. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. Now we're going to move along to our mounting nuts. If you were to look right down along this aspect, you're going to find a 13 millimeter nut that holds the EGR valve down. There's going to be another one that's a little more hidden, essentially in this area here. It's pretty much impossible to see with the camera, but once you see this one, I'm sure you can imagine the other. Just get my 13 millimeter socket on this, try to break it free. There's our nut. We'll just give it a quick inspection, make sure it looks good, and then do the exact same thing for that other nut. There's our other nut. That one looks good as well. Now you can carefully grab onto this. We're going to give it a little wiggle to break it free and lift it up and away from the engine. There it is, friends. The next thing we're going to pay attention to is down in this area where that EGR valve mounted onto. We're going to, of course, want to make sure we clean that down. Looking at it, I can see that I still have a whole bunch of that pre-existing gasket on there. So we're going to have to scrape it off so we have a nice smooth surface for the brand new EGR valve and gasket. Now typically for this, I just use a little rag, roll it up, and I'm just going to slide it into each of these ports, essentially just to help prevent any of the debris from making its way into the engine. Now let's continue on with a scraper or a razor blade or whatever you have that can scrape this off. Just clean down the whole thing. Make sure you get around each of these studs. Wipe it down with a rag with some parts cleaner on it. Let's remove that rag that we put into the ports. We'll give it one last wipe. Give it a quick inspection, make sure it looks clean as can be. Now it's going to be time to put on our brand new gasket. Now if you were to look at both sides of it, you might notice one side of it kind of protrudes out a little bit. I can feel it right here with my finger, and if I turn it over, it goes in a little bit. So what we need to happen is we need to have the outward portion facing up and away from the engine, facing towards where that EGR valve is going to be. We'll go ahead and lay this down into position. You can see it fits in there perfectly. Now it's time for that EGR valve. Have a look at it in this direction. You can see that I have this little bump facing towards the front of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and slide that down and into position. Now we can put on our nuts. Now we can bottom both of these out. Now once they're both bottomed out, go ahead and torque these to 22 foot-pounds. Now that it's torqued, let's go ahead and reconnect our electrical connector, slide it down, listen for a click, give it a tug, make sure it's secure. Alright, so let's give everything a final look real quick. Make sure it's plugged in and of course it's torqued. After that, we can go ahead and put on our engine cover. Looking at the back side, you can see this nub that protrudes. It needs to fit into this area right along the back. Go ahead and slide that right in there. As you do that, we're going to bring the front down, start lining that up as well. Go ahead and put on that fill. Turn it clockwise until it's completely locked in. Okay, friend, we got our EGR valve in there. What's left to do now? Now, typically, you're going to want to go ahead and start up the vehicle, let it run for a little while. Make sure you don't have a check engine light, assuming that's good. Shut the hood and take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.